Thank you, Karen Porla. And thank you, Deputy Brown, for sharing your time and bringing forward this bill this evening. I think it's actually a good day in the House where we have had a lot of discussion in relation to CAMS earlier on today's statements. And now this evening we're also discussing the Equality Miscellaneous Provision No. 2, Bill 2017. Fianna Fáil is bringing forward this bill to end discrimination against those who suffer with mental health issues and the Equality Miscellaneous Provisions No. 2 Bill will amend the Irish Equality legislation to ensure that persons can no longer be discriminated against on the basis they, that they have a mental health is, issue. Our bill introduces a standalone mental health ground of discrimination. This ground contains a broad definition of mental health status and includes persons' emotional, psychological and social well-being. Currently, it's an unlawful to discriminate if a person has a disability, and this includes mental illness. However, the ground restricts mental health to a narrow medical definition. Our bill puts mental health discrimination front and centre with equality legislation. It puts mental health as a standalone ground and gives it a human rights based definition. It is crucial that every person is treated with dignity, fairness and respect, regardless of a person's mental health status. The bill will serve as a further step towards bringing Ireland in line with international standards on equality and understanding of a mental health as a human rights issue and not just a medical issue. The Equality Miscellaneous Provision No. 2 Bill seeks to amend the Employment Act 1998 and the Equal Status Act of 2000 to expand the definition of mental health. In 1998 and in 2000, respectively, Fianna Fáil introduced the Employment Equality Act and the Equal Status Act. Disability is one of the nine grounds of discrimination set out in the Acts. While the definition of disability includes mental illness, the definition within the Acts provides a restrictive medical definition of medical health. Attitudes, stereotypes and prejudices about mental health can lead to discrimination. People regularly tell us that they have been discriminated against because of their mental health status. These are people who find themselves treated less favourably than someone else solely because of their mental health status. For that reason, Fianna Fáil has brought forward this bill with a broadened definition of mental health to prevent discrimination on mental health grounds on a human rights basis. I suppose we're in a stage where we have openness and honesty. And when asked about have their medical conditions, people are finding it's okay to say that they're not okay. They're finding it's okay to be honest with their employer. They don't, they have come through this whole idea that we didn't talk about mental health issues. And that's why this bill is here, so that people are actually dealing with their issues, but they're talking about it. And that's very important for employees to feel that they would be treated equally, no different to an issue with, with a disability. The, the bill aims to solve three problems. Firstly, it will help employees who have had a mental health issue. It does so by tackling one of the obstacles facing people who suffer from a mental health issue in their employment situation, namely discrimination. If enacted, it will be the crystal clear for employees and employees for employers and employees alike that discrimination based on mental health status is against the law. The second problem it will address is the need to prohibit any attempt to limit services based on a person's mental health status. This legislation will make it illegal to limit the provision of services based on a person's mental health status. Discrimination on the grounds of mental health staff violates the very principle of equality for which we all seek to strive. Finally, the bill promotes the equality by seeking to protect those who have been subjected to discrimination. It is crucial that every person is treated with dignity and respect, regardless of a person's mental health status. The bill will serve as a further step towards bringing Ireland in line with international standards on equality and understanding on mental health as well as human rights, not just on mental health issues. Minister, I would ask yourself and the government, maybe you would reconsider so as we could let it go to committee stage. I think the bill warrants that very basic support. Thank you, Ken Corla.